example is going to be on the, the quick selection tool. This is probably your best bet when selecting any image because it's super quick and easy. So what you're going to want to do to begin with, this is a extremely easy image to cut out because it's completely white, but that's what you got to start with and then you can work your way up into real photos that you cut them out of. So, if you want to download this or any other image that I use in these tutorials, you could go to the Facebook page in which I'll provide in the description. But for now, I'll show you on this. So, you take out your quick selection tool located in the top left of the screen. You make a new layer with Command J. And then you just start drawing when you have the Add to Selection. Now this is just like a normal brush, except it'll select whatever you draw on top of. So we probably want to su subtract from the selection because we want the stuff w to be selected on the inside. So we're subtracting what we don't want to have selected or we just keep adding to it. Either way, it doesn't matter. You could inverse it at the end. I'll show you that. So see, you just click all around it and drag and don't go inside of it. Then it'll automatically detect the lines. So, now we have it all selected. You just go up to Select, Inverse, or Command-Shift-I, but I usually just do Select Inverse. See, then it inverses it so it's just around the thing you selected. And then you could do Command J again once you have it selected to be on its own layer. And now it's completely sele selected perfectly. It's a really easy, super quick way to do that. I'll show you one more time on a Batman picture. Now this one is also white in the background, so it's fairly easy, but it still works as an example. So we make a new layer. We start drawing around him. So you could see you could do it pretty quickly. You don't have to really be careful. And let's say that you accidentally messed up and went inside and you're like, well now I have to start all over. Well no you don't, you just go up to the top and you do subtract from selection up here. And then you draw back in the part that you accidentally selected until it detects the lines on the outside again or you could just go farther out than you want and then click the plus sign and draw it back in on the outside so then you draw it back in you can zoom in to make it better but for now I'll just leave it like that then you go up to select inverse and then you do command J and you'll have a fully selected Batman so that's pretty much it for this lesson it's a really quick and easy way uh, not much to explain for that one but really helps if you guys try these out on your own so I'd go to the Facebook page and just a reminder to keep working on or start your color bunny it's the video is called project one color bunny and the date today is the 25th so in five days I'll make a video on how to submit your bunnies so try those if you don't know what I'm talking about keep keep working on yours gradually as you learn more things by now there's a lot of stuff you can do and you can make some cool stuff in Photoshop already with the little experience that you have so subscribe for more videos uh, I'll keep making them every day to every other day and we will keep having useful stuff like this so subscribe for more thanks